Hi, I'm going to demonstrate a mix technique that's best described as two-stage compression. The purpose of two-stage compression is to make sure that you don't accidentally end up with too much compression on one of your instrument buses. The way you do this is you use two compressors and you set the first one up so that it deals with the volume of the lower level sections and you set up a second one that will deal with the volume in the louder sections. Here's an example of what the two-stage compression sounds like compared to regular bus compression. First, the regular bus compression. Tell me why it's still this That keeps me feeling sane While this is nothing more Now, the two-stage. Tell me why it's still this That keeps me feeling sane While this is nothing more So, in listening to those two examples, ideally, they sound exactly the same. Because what we've done is we've mixed our verse and we've used the two different setups to have the sound in the verse that we want. Okay? Now, when it gets to the next section that's a little bit louder, listen to how in the regular bus compression, the, the drums are getting a little bit too compressed. So what will happen is the balances will be a little bit wrong. The drums are going to feel like, oh, it's too bad they're not just a little bit bigger. And you're going to notice a little bit more of a splatty sound on the snare, which in some ways is a cool effect. You hear more of the room sound. You hear more of the decay. The only problem is it ends up being a slightly too bombastic sound for this song. This is the regular bus compression. We're going to listen going from the quiet section to the loud section. Here's our quiet section. Now we're going to hit the louder section. Hard vocals sit a little further forward than the drums now for such a big, loud section. Here's the two stage. But basically the same sound for the quiet section. They got bigger with the dynamic of the song. Also, the drum sound is a little bit punchier in the two stage compression. So I'll be back and forth between the two. Number one will be the regular bus compression, and number two will be the two stage compression. So it should be pretty clear that the two-stage compression has more presence, has more attack, and more volume, and it's really more appropriate dynamics and sound for this particular song. Okay, so how do we set it up? Basically, this uh, compression that we're talking about is really just on the drums. The way the vocals were recorded, it's actually set up to do the same. I'll address that at the very end. So mainly, let's just focus on the drums. So we have 12 tracks of drums. The starting point is you need to set up two separate bus sends. And then what you're going to do is assign all of the drums to both sends 1 and 2. So in this case, we have a stereo bus. That's why it's labeled 1 through 4. Once you've got all 12 of those set up, then you're going to choose your compressors. In this case, we're using a Chandler LTD2 on the first bus. The second bus is a pair of Empirical Labs distressors. With normal bus compression, you take all the drums, send them through a pair of buses to a stereo compressor, and bring that back to the console. With the two-stage compression, you're actually going to do that twice. First, you go to a regular stereo compressor and bring that back in parallel, and through a second set of buses, send the original drums and that compressor return to your regular bus compressor. So you've got the drums with a compressor in parallel going to the final bus compressor. And then all you monitor is that bus compressor. What ends up happening is you have your drums that are allowed to have their regular dynamics up and down, and your parallel compressor. 
And what happens is the parallel compressor is really only going to make a difference when your drum performance is at a lower dynamic level. Because since it's in parallel, when that compressor hits its absolute ceiling and is squashing everything, the uncompressed drums can continue increasing in volume. So the only time your, comp your parallel compressor really has an effect is at the lower volumes. Then when this goes to the higher volume, the combination of the uncompressed drums and the parallel compression gets compressed by the regular bus compression. So you have a way of controlling your dynamics and your envelope, the attack and release at the low volumes, and then also the same thing at the upper volumes when you're summing the two and then compressing them. This is the sound of the drums in the first section uncompressed. This is the sound of the drums in the second section uncompressed. This is the sound of the drums running through the LTD2 only in the first section. This is the sound of the drums running through just the LTD2 in the second section. This is the sound of the drums without the LTD2 coming back from the distressor. And the loud section. And then this is the combination with the LTD2 in. And the loud section.